What's up guys, Hypes Gaming here, and as you will probably know by now, Call of Duty 2016 is going to be called Infinite Warfare, and today the reveal trailer was released on the YouTube channel for Call of Duty, and over the past few days, Call of Duty have released Snapchat videos, little teasers and images, but from what I've pieced together, this image is of a man with a space helmet on, possibly a soldier, but the image doesn't really give much away, and it looks like a, a lot like a military propaganda image from the game itself but enough about the image let's jump straight into the trailer and get Modern Warfare Remastered. Right, I think we can all agree that was a pretty amazing reveal trailer. I mean, it looks as if we're back on the ground running about. It looks as if there's been some sort of worldwide pandemic. Nukes have been dropped. Armies going against each other. And it looks like there's giant spaceships involved. So hopefully some of the campaign, some of the multiplayer is going to be took off world. If they introduce zombies into the game, then there will be possible, well, it will poss mo mo more than likely be on Earth because from the campaign it looks as if there's been a nuke dropped. It makes sense that the zombie is left from radioactive materials or something like that. I'm not too sure, but it looks awesome. It doesn't look as if there's going to be any specialists, although at the moment it does sort of look as if there'll be character customization but not much 
but it does look cool. The weapons look more modern, not as futuristic. As you can see in the trailer, there are some sort of there is a sort of laser weapon, but I'm hoping there's not too much of them because I don't really like these futuristic weapons. I like sticking to the classics, but like I said, it looks amazing. It's restored my faith in Call of Duty, to be honest, because. I was getting a bit bored of the exo movements and the thrust jumps and all that, that, but hopefully it's back on the ground, running about, but it does look cool, I probably will get it, and if you get the Legacy Edition, you get for about $80, £70 it probably will be, you get Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered, so you get the campaign and 10 multiplayer maps, and I'm hoping they might release DLC for it. Although I'm not too certain, but that's all from, from me for today. See ya.